I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today, I'm going to be reviewing Rogue Lawyer by John Grisham. Came out in 2015. You know, we always review the covers. Uh, you know, it's a John Grisham cover. It's got big, bold type, his name up top, Rogue Lawyer picture of a rogue lawyer overlooking a cityscape. What's this thing about? Well, you know I love me some John Grisham. He's one of my, I've done, if you've seen some of my other John Grisham reviews, you know I love me some John Grisham. In fact, I know I'm not standing in front of my John Grisham collection right now, but I will show it to you. My John Grisham collection is right uh, there. I think you can see it there. That's all my John Grisham books. Yeah, it's over there in the corner, right over there. Okay, there, there we go, there we go. We got a little free tour of some of my other library books, too. Hey, we do things professional around here, folks. We hire professional cameramen, lighting techs, sound guys. Only the best for you people. Only the best. Rogue lawyer. Okay, I, I got to admit, the reason I say the reason I say that man, I love me some John Grisham is because I love me some John Grisham, and you got to go watch some of my other reviews, because I praise the dude and his storytelling abilities up up the wazoo. The dude is awesome. Rogue lawyer, yeah. You know, I didn't. You know, first of all, very few John Grisham books are told in the first person. First person. It's hard to do because you got to engage me. That person's got to have such a personality that I want to hang out in their head all the time, right? I mean, I want to hang out in their head for 400 pages. And you know, the rogue lawyer, this guy, Sebastian, who's our rogue lawyer, kind of dry. I mean, he ain't, I mean, he ain't like Jack Reacher. He ain't witty. He ain't that funny. He ain't like uh, even, I mean, this thing gets compared to uh, rightfully so because this is the first, the first thing that I noticed was this is like, Michael Connolly's the Lincoln lawyer. Well, this is the rogue lawyer. They have the same job. They Sebastian lives out of a van. <laughs> the Lincoln lawyer, or Michael Connolly's Lincoln lawyer, lives out of a Lincoln. The rogue lawyer lives out of a van. Well, he actually has an apartment. He got a penthouse apartment that he stays in now and then. But he mostly lives out the van. The van is covered in armor, so bullets can't. And and he's got a driver, and his driver is this. I mean, the rogue lawyer, the reason he's the rogue lawyer is because he represents people that nobody else wants to represent. Like, he represents the worst of the worst. That's why he doesn't want to have a permanent home is because he represents the worst of the worst, and the worst of the worst usually have enemies, and the enemy, and when he gets the worst of the worst free, because he's an awesome lawyer, he gets them free all the time, whether they're guilty or not, don't matter. He gets them free all the time, and, and the worst of the worst have enemies, and those enemies want to kill the rogue lawyer, so that's why he got to go to the penthouse that nobody knows about, to the to the armored van, and he's got this driver, and his driver, who is just known as the partner, his partner, he called it, no, yes, he's just called the partner, is this dude that he was this badass dude that the rogue lawyer got off of some crimes, and the, the badass dude is like, hey man, I'll be your bodyguard, because you got some troubles, you, you ain't gonna fight your own way out of a lot of these situations you get in so i'm gonna be the muscle for you i'll drive this van for you i'll keep you safe and so the rogue lawyer is living out of this stuff and he just he takes on all the cases like he, he takes on this punk kid case i mean every every single case he takes on no but it's just a just a dirt bag or a, just a purely evil person and he takes on their case because he believes hey, everybody deserves a fair trial everybody deserves to be represented and I'm a damn good lawyer, and sometimes I get these people off. It's a lot like the Lincoln lawyer. Just, I did, and, and, and as much as I love, I mean, that's only the plot. That's about all the plot I can give you. Just because he just, he just represents one dirtbag after the next, kind of like a string of them, right? And, 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 and the character Sebastian, the lawyer, it just isn't that engaging, I guess, is why I did not find this. I, I still read it pretty quickly because there are some things in it that keep you. I mean, it's got the John Grisham hook. 
that keeps you going from chapter to chapter to chapter to find out what happens because some bad stuff happens. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not trying to discourage you from this novel. And I don't want to discourage anybody from John Grisham because everything that he... I, I, this is probably the weakest one so far that I've read. And maybe it's just because it's smacked so much of the Lincoln lawyer that, that John Connolly wrote. Almost identical, really. And um, so I, it's just, and I didn't like the first person narration by Sebastian the lawyer. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a ho hum book. It's it's good enough to that it kept me engaged to read through it. It's just one of those books that I just wasn't riveted to, like I normally am with John Grisham. Like what have we got over there? Like thirty two John Grisham books. Thirty one of them are fucking stellar. And one I was just this one I'm kind of like eh. Maybe read A Time to Kill. Maybe read Sycamore Row. Maybe read um, The Pelican Brie for the Brethren. Maybe read some of those before you pick up this one and read it. Or maybe you will like this one. I give this an average review. I mean, this is like a 5.5, 6 out of 10 for me. It still is still a good cracking read. Just There was just a few things that bothered me, and that's probably my fault for, you know trying to compare everything in this to the Lincoln lawyer, which I probably shouldn't have because this is this is unique enough that it's not ripping off the Lincoln lawyer, but it's got its own unique things. But if you want to read about the rogue lawyer, here you go. Here you go.